Hello, I'm Terry Miauchi, Public Safety Segment Manager here at Bell. And today we're at the Bell Training Academy to look at the all new Subaru Bell 412 EPX. The 412 EPX is the latest model in the 412 line and with it, it carries the legacy of the entire 412 series of aircraft and at the same time brings in not only just new technology and features, but a pretty enhanced performance. You have to go back actually more than 60 years and look at the iconic Vietnam era Bell Huey to get a true appreciation and understanding of the legacy of this aircraft. And that legacy includes the first twin engine four bladed 412 certified in 1981. And since that time, 11 models of improvements to the 412. That's important because with that entire family, you get, in this case, more than 13,000 aircraft that have been sold in this family, more than 29 million flight hours. The 412 line alone includes nearly 1,400 aircraft and more than 7 million flight hours. And finally, the EPX certified in 2018 manufactured with the first one delivered just two years ago in 2021. A real common question we get is why Subaru as part of the name on this aircraft? And the answer is simply partnerships. If you look at Bell and our 85 year history, where we operate in more than 120 countries around the world on all five continents, it's about partnerships with companies like Subaru, in which Bell has worked for many years. These partnerships develop new technologies like laser peening on the new transmission of the EPX brings us substantial increased power. In fact, about 15% hover performance jump, uh, significant jumps in the category A performance and significant jumps in the gross weight limitations on this aircraft. And perhaps most importantly, a, an agreement or a partnership in which we now commit to 25 more years of production of the 412 and 50 years of direct support of the 412. I'd like to introduce you now to Joe, one of our Bell Training Academy pilots. We'll talk to you more about the avionics systems of the EPX. I'm Joe Beebe, one of the 26 helicopter certified flight instructors at the Bell Training Academy located here in Hearst, Texas. In addition to helicopter flight instruction, I serve currently as the Training Academy's lead pilot for the 412 program. Let's take a look inside the cockpit. The 412 EPX features a glass cockpit. Gone are the days of individual analog or traditional round gauges. The cockpit has four display units, two on each side. Both pilots have visibility on one display unit, which is called the primary flight display. This is dedicated to critical flight parameters to include airspeed, attitude, altitude, heading, and other information. And one display unit called the multifunction display, dedicated to the aircraft engines, systems parameter, crew alerting system, and performance, as well as additional mission equipment if it were installed, such as FLIR. This design is highly intuitive and significantly reduces the pilot's workload. Information is presented in such a way that a pilot can scan the aircraft's current condition at a moment's glance. Colors are used extensively to indicate system health. Green is good, yellow is cautionary, and red is critical. What you're looking at is a second generation of the Bell designed Basics Pro integrated avionics system, which is also used in the Bell 429 and in upgraded models of the Bell 412 EPI. Some of the features available to the flight crew include electrical and fuel schematics, weight and balance function, and performance planning. Data on the left side of this screen is editable by the pilot, adjusting for winds, pressure altitude, outside air temperature, and gross weight are drawn in by the aircraft itself, and your margins are provided on the right column. The standard EPX aircraft comes equipped with the Garmin 750 and 650 XI combination that provides the flight crew with dual navigation communication and GPS location. Off aircraft flight planning can be uploaded via an optional Bluetooth feature available from Garmin. Everything from the flight plan, airways, charts, approaches, departures, and arrivals are available within this system. The standard 412 EPX is equipped with a three axis autopilot and can be upgraded to a four axis system to include cyclic, pedals, and collective. 
which would enable fully coupled precision and non-precision approaches via the Flight Director Mode Select Panels 1 and 2. As well, you would have a radar altimeter and velocity hold function for precision hover work. An optional enhanced hover hold upgrade is available as well. The hover hold function provides the following capabilities, a straight ahead approach to a hover and mark on target. To summarize these capabilities, selection of the modes will fly the aircraft into a predetermined approach profile to a known location, even factoring in current wind conditions. From altitude to a hover, fully coupled. Moving on to climb mode, selection of this mode will transition the aircraft from a hover into a wings level straight climb and then to cruise flight. Additional features you'll find in the 412 EPX include TCAS, HTAWS, terrain and weather radar if installed, FLIR, and video feed on the display unit. Thanks to the digital fuel control of the Pratt & Whitney PT6 T9 engines, the 412 EPX provides an OEI training mode that allows the flight crew to safely exercise OEI or one engine in operative procedures while both engines remain in a fly condition. Indications and power responses simulate an engine out condition on the chosen side, left or right, while the remaining side of the aircraft displays actual conditions. This feature allows an instructor and a pilot in training to safely simulate a failed engine from either crew position. Thanks to the Pratt & Whitney PT6 T9 engine and the upgraded transmission, the EPX has increased its usefulness and improved its performance. The 412 is now capable of more missions and more environments than ever before. Previous 412 variants had the PT6 T3 engine. The EPX has a Pratt & Whitney PT6 T9 engine, which is equipped with an electronic engine control, or EEC. Capabilities of this new engine include increased AEO and OEI power, approximately 15% more shaft horsepower at essentially the same fuel burn rate, precise and rapid NP governing, automatic start function with MGT limiting, fault detection and transmission management, torque or MGT matching feature, and OEI, one engine in operative training mode. The electronic engine control delivers fuel at precise measurements, making it considerably more efficient. The upgraded 412 EPX transmission allows for an increase in available mass torque, which allows the operator greater performance margins and therefore greater capabilities. Previous 412 variants were time limited to five minutes between a power setting of 81% to 100% mass torque. In the EPX, this limit does not exist below 60 knots, where most aircraft find themselves in high power conditions. Further, the EPX expands the five minute range upward from 100% to 111% mass torque below 60 knots. Finally, the aircraft is now compliant with part 29 requirements that include a 30 minute run dry or loss of lubrication condition. That's it for me. Now I'll send you back to Terry and I'll see you in the sky. So what does all this upgraded engine and transmission give you in the terms of real world performance? You know, it, it's really all about the mission. Specifically, this transmission, you're getting a, an 11% increase in your shaft horsepower torque at takeoff. And what that equates to is about a 15% jump in hover performance and primarily at the hot and high levels. To be as simple as I can, that old 100% torque gauge max is now at 111%. It means a jump in max gross weight. You get a, another 300 pounds on your payload. The internal gross weight on the EPX is now at 12,200 pounds. You get a 500 pound jump on your cargo hook. We're now at 5,000 pounds max on the EPX cargo hook. And you get an unprecedented 1,100 pound jump on the external gross weight, now at 13,000 pounds for the EPX. Your Cat A performance jumps substantially as well. You know, there's no aircraft out there that can claim Cat A performance at max gross weight at all elevations. The EPX, without a doubt, now closes that gap significantly. And depending on your exact parameters that you put with that, uh, as much as a 2,000 pound jump in that Cat A performance. You have a jump in your Cat B performance. And, you know, from a mission standpoint, what does that mean? It means more payload. It means more passengers on board. It might mean more SWAT members. It means more 
oil and gas workers, it means more water being dropped on a fire with the EPX. If you bring those legacy benefits into the EPX, you also gain quite a few things with that. Those 13,000 aircraft and those 30 million flight hours, what that means is incredibly high OR rates. In fact, with the EPX, the 412 line, we're looking at uh, operational readiness rate of 96%, kind of unheard of in the industry. And you get things like low DOCs and low maintenance man hours. Like the EPX, as part of this new certification, comes in at 1.33 man hours per every flight hour. Typically a medium class aircraft is gonna be about three, three and a half hours per flight hour. So to cut that in half substantially creates those high OR rates, creates those low DOCs. Add to that the award-winning customer support of Bell. And that doesn't happen by chance. We're proud to get that rating almost every year for 30 years in a row now. And it comes because of these low OR rates and these low uh, DOCs and these uh, incredible customer service engineering support. Some of those same legacy design has benefits as well. And I'd like to show you some of those now. The 412 EPX has an incredibly wide cabin opening. Most helicopters measure their cabin opening in inches. With the EPX, it's in feet. In fact, 7.7 .7 feet altogether. What that means to the mission is not just easier loading, but perhaps faster loading, less cumbersome Stokes basket loading on that dynamic hoist. It perhaps means a diver that's coming out with less chance of entanglement of his bulky gear. It perhaps means two SWAT members on each side coming out simultaneously. Add to that an incredibly wide and open cabin. In fact, we're at 220 cubic feet. Whether you're loading 15 seats, two in the front, 13 in the back, or cargo or humanitarian load, one of the best in class cabin space with the 412 EPX. Another example would be the rugged skids of the 412 EPX. And whether you're choosing the standard skid, the high skid, or even the extra high skid, that extra clearance becomes essential. You know, when we operate as police, fire, utility, or medical, we're typically operating in the austere and remote environments. And to have that clearance and that ruggedness becomes absolutely critical. We don't know where that next mission is. And so we have to have that capability that the EPX provides to be able to operate in those types of environments. You know, as we look at some of the other kits of the 412 EPX and whether that's the IR, EO camera systems, the searchlight options, the vertical reference kits and the bubble windows and really just a plethora of other kits that carry forward with this new certified 412 EPX just become absolutely critical. When you combine the performance upgrades and features of the new 412 EPX with the legacy benefits, that ruggedness, that reliability, you have a remarkable advantage in your mission. I read an article recently in one of our trade magazines. It essentially said, this is a big helicopter for big jobs. And I could not agree with that more. I would encourage you to go to our website, bellflight.com. You'll find additional information on the new Subaru Bell 412 EPX.